Well hey YouTubers and welcome to the new season, season 2 of video games and consoles from the loft. And over the next 10 weeks we're going to be looking at more consoles, more video games and plenty more accessories. And here's part 1 coming up for you right now. Enjoy your Sunday. There is nothing on TV to watch today. Ah, uh, but I do know something we can watch. Well, welcome to part one of season two, and it feels great to be back. And today for you, I have two more items from the collection to kickstart the season off with. One's an accessory which has been a part of one of the greatest rail shooter series ever, and the other is an alien attacking UFO invading game from CGL. And that is exactly what we're going to kickstart off with, and that's this, CGL's Galaxy Invader. Well, Galaxy Invader was released around the early 1980s and was imported and rebranded by many companies around the world like Vanity Fair, Tandy and Radio Shack and here in the UK by our very own CGL, Computer Games Limited. Now, CGL are no longer around but they were very well known for releasing these types of games. Well, this is Galaxy Invader, so let's take a closer look. Well, as you've seen already, I've still got the box, which is in great condition, and it's extremely detailed, and it looks good too. Inside the box, I've got the game and the original instructions, which are really easy to use, and they get straight to the point. If we take the game out of the polystyrene insert, you can see that it's in really great condition, and it's been looked after really, really well. If we start at the back, you can see it's got the instructions for the game, so just in case you lose the instruction manual. And down below, you've got the battery compartment where you'll need to fit four AA batteries, but these will last a long time. If we now turn the game back to the front, you can see it has a large LED screen with a point scoring system around the edging. On the left there, you have your arcade style control stick to move your missile station left and right. And on the right hand side, a large arcade fire button. You have a selection of three different speed levels and your on and off switch to turn the game on and off. Now let's look at some gameplay. Well the object of this game is to move your missile station from side to side and aim at the invaders and the UFOs and try and prevent them from reaching the G section of the game. If they do, they'll claim your territory. You have three lives in total and you can build up many many points by hitting the enemies at the different levels in the scoring system there. But it's a really quirky game and really good fun and easy to play and it's endless hours of fun. Well I just love these types of handhelds in the early 80s, they're just so cool, especially this one, it just looks so good as well, it looks like some sort of intergalactic spaceship. It also provides great gameplay, great sound and also has great controls. And talking of controls, that moves me to my next item, which is probably one of the coolest controllers you could ever own, and that's this, Sega Saturn's Virtual Gun, complete with Virtual Cop 2. Well, the Virtual Cop series was developed by Sega Amusement Machine Research and Development Department 2, or you could say Sega AM2, who have been at the backbone of some of Sega's greatest ever games released, from Space Harrier to Afterburner 2 to Virtua Fighter, and they released Virtual Cop in 1994 in the arcades, and then it was beamed to the Sega Saturn in 1995. In the following year, they released Virtua Cop 2, and here it is, complete with the gun. So let's take a closer look. 
Well, I just love opening this box. It always brings a smile to my face. The contents is just absolutely awesome. I just love games that have been bundled with accessories. You've got the uh, Virtua Cop 2 uh, instruction manual and the instruction manual for operating the gun. You've got a little pamphlet there advertising different games for the Sega Saturn. And you've got the Virtua Cop uh, 2 CD, which is in excellent condition. There are no scratches whatsoever. And here's the best item of them all, uh, the gun. I just absolutely love it. The, 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 the colour on it is just beautiful. It just looks so sweet. Um, you've got your start button on the side there uh, for starting the game and your trigger. And there's the connection cable, which we can just pop into the Sega Saturn. And we can pop the game in. And now we can look at some gameplay. Well, here we are at the title screen of Virtual Cop 2, and uh, you can select from an easy, medium, or hard missions, and I've gone for an easy one. And as soon as you've done this, you'll be thrown straight into the action, and you'll have enemies popping up from anywhere, just about anywhere on the screen, from behind cars and walls and panes of glass and counters, and uh, you have to react as quickly as you possibly can. And uh, to reload your gun, you have to aim at the floor or away from the screen, and this will recharge your gun. And then you can get back on with the action. As I said before about this game being a rail shooter, a rail shooter means that the game is on a predetermined track and will normally follow this every time that you play the game. But this really is an awesome game and if you haven't played it before then try it in the arcades or get one for the Sega Saturn. Well, I must just say again how much I love this item. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Whenever I'm in the arcades, it always grabs my attention and it's a part of an awesome series of games. And I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Well, if you'd like to own either of the items that I've reviewed today, then you shouldn't have to pay anything more than £30 or $50 in America. And I really hope that you can own these items too. Well, that wraps up part one of season two, and it's great to be back, and I'm looking forward to the next review next Sunday, and I hope you'll join me too. Well, have a great week, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.